Hey Jim Morrison fans, what we have in front of us in this lot was the former roadhouse where Jim Morrison got the inspiration from the club that used to be on its premises called the Topanga Corral. The doors used to hang out here in the 1960s and all the rock and rollers of the 1960s used to hang out here. And behind this, what was once the Topanga Corral or as Jim used to call it, the roadhouse was a bungalow he built for him and Pam where they used to live and get away from all the racket and all the turmoil of LA which is still like that and on these hairpin turns this is where Jim Morrison got the inspiration the roadhouse as he says in the beginning keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel and uh, these treacherous hairpin horseshoe turns coming up I guess they were high and pot and and the way he liked to drink that whiskey, man, I bet it was hard as hell driving up this way. But uh, this is where the roadhouse was, the Topanga Corral. I've even seen p pictures of the Beatles here. Uh, Neil Young, the Birds, the Mamas and Papas, Frank Zappa, Ken Heat. Everybody in the 1960s used to come out and hang out here in the Topanga Canyon. And uh, unfortunately, it burned down in 1983. But there was a lot of albums that were recorded here. A lot of famous people used to uh, perform here. A lot of old blues players. Uh, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, all of them came out here. Okay, Jim Morrison fans, I'm gonna take you guys now to what used to be Olivia's Soul Food Kitchen, where Jim Morrison used to hang out and get breakfast every morning. And uh, when he graduated from UCLA, and where he got the inspiration for Soul Kitchen, the song that appeared on his first album. Keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel. We're going to the roadhouse and we're going to have a real good time. Okay, Jim Morrison fans, Doors fans, anybody who's anybody. If only we could somehow in the future maybe tune into the vibrations and download it and have a spectacle of what, what was going on here at that time. And uh, I could imagine all the partying that was going on under, underneath this beautiful pepper tree that was here obviously at that time. Okay, 1960s music fans, especially you Doors fans, Canned Heat fans, Birds fans, Neil Young fans, Bob Dylan, Jimi Hendrix, they were all here. Too bad, all I, all I can document for you is a lot, but if those hills could talk, as they say, huh? Okay, 